Hi guys, it's Chris and Stuff and Things here and welcome to another video. You might have seen my previous video unboxing the Yeti Blue Whiteout. Uh, today I'm going to be testing it out and reviewing it. So currently I'm using my built-in uh, microphone for my laptop which I'm recording on now. Um, I must say I tested the microphone last night uh, with my girlfriend and it is substantially better. Um, it is really, really sensitive, um, but it does give very good uh, sound quality. Um, it has got, I don't know if you can see here, uh, it's got a, a built-in um, port for your headphones. Um, it's got the USB port there, which is what powers the device and plugs straight into your laptop and just installs the driver straight away so really easy to use you can just plug it in off you go straight away um, also i believe that this is for a boom um, so you can take it off this stand and put it onto a, a boom stand if you wanted to if that's what you wanted to do um, the microphone looks as though it is designed for uh, use with pretty much everything uh, so podcasts uh, conference calls if that's your cup of tea um, recording vocals, uh, recording instruments, um, and pretty much everything in between. You've got some um, patterns on here, so it's currently set uh, for a pattern which is best suited to podcasting apparently. Um, you've also got uh, patterns on here for interviews and also um, for singing vocals, when you're singing duets and then just pretty much everything in between, like instruments and stuff like that. Um, you've also got your volume here, which is for your headphones, um, and then you've also got the gain here, which is the, the sensitivity of the microphone itself. They say to leave it in the middle there uh, when you're using it, and if it's not sensitive enough, then change it up. And also you can screw these and unscrew them to make it so it doesn't, doesn't move as much. Um, and then you've got the mute button there to, to stop it from picking up your, your voice or anything around it. Um, so far, very impressed, um, but let's, uh, let's test Hi it guys. out, shall we? Um, so now I'm using the uh, Yeti microphone. Um, you can instantly tell the difference. Um, there's no hiss in the background, for starters. And if I get really close to the microphone, you can just hear my voice really clearly. Um, currently I've got it in the podcast setting, so really I should have it in front of me like this. Um, however, I have found that I keep jingling with the wires and you can hear that. So, let's put it back. Um, I'm really happy with the microphone. Uh, it's really good. Um, it does pick up any little bit of background noise, uh, noise that is going on. Um, which I don't know if it's a, a, a bad thing um, because it does mean that it's more sensitive. However, it, um, sorry, there's some people walking past my window right now. Um, however, I think you can hear them. Um, however, last night when I was trying it out, uh, you could hear the ticking of the clock that was in the kitchen. <laughs> um, so you've really got to be somewhere quiet and. You, you can hear my, my girlfriend walking around the flat, opening and closing the doors. Uh, so we've had to put WD-40 onto the uh, the doors so that you can't hear it through the microphone because uh, the previous microphone that I used on the laptop wasn't as sensitive, so you couldn't really hear that sort of stuff. Um, anyway, back to the microphone. Um, really, really happy with it. It's a really sturdy microphone, really, really sturdy, which is really good. And um, because I can put it on a boom eventually, that's going to be even better. Um, I think I'll need to invest in a pop filter um, because when you talk directly into the microphone at the moment and you do your P's and S's, uh, it affects the microphone more than when I was using the laptop. Uh, as an example, my name is Pete and I come from Stanford. So when you're doing t as well, t -t -t -t, um, it picks it up quite badly uh, and it can affect um, well, yeah, it just, just doesn't sound very good, really. So I'll probably invest in the pop filter. Um, probably hear some background noise there again. I think it's 
Um, also, what I like is the fact that you can turn down the gain uh, on the back um, so that it's not as sensitive, uh, especially if you're very close to it. So once I've got the pop filter, I'll be able to put the gain um, quite low. So it's just picking my voice up and the background noise. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I use the podcast setting, but there are other settings that you can use. Uh, so if you, if you uh, um, want to use a guitar or drums or what have you, you can use that. Um, uh, the other setting, one of the other settings. Um, if you're holding an interview for a radio station or a podcast that you're doing, you can have it so you, you talk either side of the microphone. Um, the setting that I have at the moment should pick it up on the front and shouldn't pick it up when I talk on the sides like that so you see it's clearer when I'm here rather than when I'm here. And likewise top and back. Um, however, what other settings will pick it up all around the microphone um, or either side of the microphone um, and there is one other setting which is similar to the interview setting but it's, it's for when you're doing a duet with somebody um, so you don't have to be as close to the microphone and it will pick up both people singing um, the other thing is volume on the front so if I think that I can't hear myself um, as much as I'd like to I can turn that up and it will just be in my headphones uh, rather than having to deal with clicking on the, the laptop to put the, the sound up um, and then the mute button is very good uh, for when you've got somebody with you and you just want to talk to them quickly just say okay we're just going to do this next and um, I can just mute it and you won't be able to hear me Um, see, so that's very good. Um, like I said, um, I'm very pleased with it. It was a very good purchase. Um, I got it from Perry's PC World yesterday. Um, couldn't wait to, to plug it in um, and, and start using it really. It's very easy to use. You just plug in the USB into the uh, laptop and it just picks it up and stores the drivers straight away. Um, and then you've got the, the plug uh, socket for your headphones which you can just plug in and I can hear myself talking now so you know that the microphone is working. Um, anyway guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you for watching. Um, please leave any comments you have, um, questions that you, you have about the, the microphone itself. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the review. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.